Welcome to the Chief Architect Quick Tip. My name is Dan, and I'll be covering the materials Chevron and Herringbone bonus catalog and how normal maps work with materials in Chief Architect Premier. We'll be working within the Modern Bungalow sample plan, which you can access through our samples gallery on chiefarchitect.com. So, let's get started. All right, let's go to Chief Architect Premier, where I've opened the plan Modern Bungalow, and I'll show you how to get this plan from our website, chiefarchitect.com, at the end of the video if you want to follow along. And if you don't own Chief Architect, you can download a free trial, and I'll show you where that can be found on our website at the end as well. Okay, let's navigate in the library browser to the Materials Chevron and Herringbone Catalog. As we click through these different materials, they look a little redundant at first, don't they? They look to be the same material, but if we read the descriptions, we can see that they are carpet materials, and they seem to have differences like short, thick, and thin. We built these materials to really leverage the use of normal maps, which were introduced in Chief Architect version X9, and we thought this material catalog would work well to illustrate the power, flexibility, and usefulness of normal maps. So let's see what happens when we apply some of these materials. Let's put this short chevron material on this rug here. Now let's try this other one that looks the same in the library browser. Thin. Okay. And let's try thick. As you can see, they look different from each other in the camera view because they're using different normal maps. Normal maps are image files that tell light how to bounce off of a 3D object. They create the illusion of extra detail on a surface without that surface actually having extra 3D detail modeled into the geometry of the object. Let's get some quick vocab out of the way. 3D objects, we call them symbols, are made up of a bunch of flat planes called polygons. With normal maps, we can add details to objects to make them look as though they are way more detailed without adding extra polygons. Unlike bump maps, which use values from black and white images to show an illusion of change in height on a surface, normal maps use RGB values, that's red, green, and blue colors, to show the illusion of light hitting the surface at different angles. Red, green, and blue are turned into values for the X, Y, and Z axes in 3D space. So a flat rug symbol can look like a highly detailed rug symbol because the normal map on it is telling the light to bounce off of it at different angles. Let me show you an example. I've applied a roofing material on this floor that has big strips that stick out. It appears the floor has detailed geometry, but in fact, it's just a flat surface. Look at how the shadows shift as the light moves. A bump map gives us the illusion of the surface being recessed or extruded, but that's all it can do. A normal map dynamically changes with the light source, telling light what angle to bounce off of the surface it's applied to. When the light is on the middle, you can see the shadow casting off to the left of the strips on this side, and over here, they're being cast to the right side because of where the light is. So the flat surface on the floor looks like it actually has some detail built into it because of the way the normal map is making light bounce off of it. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so back in our modern bungalow scene, and let's look at these wood grains. I'm going to apply this to the floor, but I want to paint the base moldings too, so I'm going to change from component mode to room mode, so everything in the room with the material I click on will change. You can see the effect of the normal map over here a little bit. If I use the Adjust Material Definitions tool and just take the texture off of this flooring, you can see how light is bouncing off of it from the normal map. 
All right. Um, I think I'll go with this whitewashed chevron material instead. All right. I like the way that's looking. So I mentioned flexibility with normal maps. Let's say I really like the way this chevron wallpaper material looks on my rugs, but it doesn't look like a nice thick rug. They look more like mats. Let's change the look with a normal map. I think I'll use this thick carpet material on this towel, and I think that would look nice as the rug too, um, as far as the texture it has. So let's use the Adjust Material Definitions tool and click on the towel. This brings up the Define Material dialog, and if we go to the Texture tab, we can select and copy the file path of the normal map this towel is using. Now we can close this and use the same tool to define the material for our rugs. Back to the Texture tab, hit the Use Normal Map checkbox, and then paste in the file path for the normal map we want to use on this material. Hit OK. And now the pattern we liked has some more of the rug texture we were going for because the normal map is telling light how to bounce off of its surface. All right, it's looking a lot more like a nice thick rug. Let's see if we can't make this a cool accent wall over here. Let's go into the fabric folder and apply this vibe orange and blue. Uh, but before I apply the material, I'm going to change back to component mode or Chief will apply this material to all the walls in this room. All right, uh, let's use the... I think I want it to be bigger. Let's use the Adjust Material Definitions tool again and triple the size. Awesome. Uh, I like the way the normal map on this material gives it a nice kind of linen wallpaper look. Cool. And now that I've adjusted these materials to where I like them, I can go to the 3D Materials Plan Materials, and here's that vibe and orange blue material if I scroll up, I used for the accent wall. I can select it and hit Add to Library to preserve it for the future. So I don't have to recreate something I've already made, uh, if, especially if I know I'm going to use it again. So there's a little tour of the materials, chevrons, and herringbone bonus catalog. And uh, we learned a little bit about normal maps and how they work and what they can do. To get a free trial of our software, just go to chiefarchitect.com. There, under the products menu, you can compare our different product options and find a link to download a trial version so you can explore the software. We also offer many training resources you can access under the User Center menu and a Users Forum to connect with other Chief Architect users and a Samples Gallery with sample plans to get you started. And that Samples Gallery is where you will find the Modern Bungalow Plan. Lastly, you can find the bonus catalog we used today at our 3D Library, which can be found at 3dlibrary.chiefarchitect.com. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip, and I invite you to find additional resources through chiefarchitect.com or download a free trial of Chief Architect. Thank you for watching this quick tip, and I hope you have a great day.